Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video will feature my master bedroom. I know a lot of you have been wondering when is she going to show us where she actually sleeps. So today's video will feature that. So step right on in. I want to make this video not too long but as short as possible because I don't want it to take so long to upload. So with that being said, I'm going to try to give you a quick tour without leaving some stuff out if that makes sense so let's start with the center of attraction which is the bed the bed um was something that was like a journey shall i say i first started off with the mattress i know that sounds strange but that's what happened i ended up finding a tempurpedic mattress at a closeout store so I was super excited about that because I wanted to own one, but a, a lot of you, uh, as a lot of you may know, they are super expensive. So you know your girl, I found one, a king size one, for two hundred dollars at a closeout store. So after I found the mattress, then it was time to find the bed. You know the funny thing, I found the bed at the same time I found the mattress. To be real with you, um, the bed that I previously was going to use was a upholstered like material white bed and I thought to myself that would be a little bit um too much of a high maintenance type of bed for me so I needed to get something more practical but I still wanted to stick to the white family because as you can see my whole bedroom is white so um the particular bed I had before I had um also picked it up the same time I picked up the mattress and the bed was $110 for a king size upholstered bed with the wings. So I got that for a great deal, but I ended up selling that later. But lo and behold, a year later, I walked into Home Goods and it had this beautiful bed sitting in there. Um, hey, Home Goods, I got, I got a lot of my Home Goods um, employees who work at my favorite store that sometimes follow my YouTube videos. So if you're watching, hello. But anyway, this bed was there, and it is a bed that is made by, oh, shoot, I forget. I'll link it below, because I'm going to um, try to give you a description of where I got everything from. But Home Goods carried it, but I also found it at another store as well. But if you can see the detail on this bed, it has a little, like, square blocks of the mirror in, you know, in the headboard then on the back it has a little bit of a snake skin print to it and this is really um practical like if you need to clean it only thing you have to do is wipe it off versus the cloth would have been impractical to use so yeah that's that, that's pretty much you know the story of the bed and then if you can see here the bed has a footboard that goes around it on the side and pretty much covers the whole bed which is something else i like but the most important thing about this bed you guys it was freaking $200. Can you believe that? I know you all say she has the craziest prices, but I promise you it was $200 in home goods. And when I tell you this bed is freaking heavy. So yeah, that's where the bed came from. And we'll get to the pieces that added to the bed because that was also found at home goods, but they were found in different um, time limbs. So we'll talk about that in a little bit. But the bedding itself as you all may know, it comes from who I told you about to all of my um, former subscribers, Nina Campbell. This whole bedding group is from her. Um, again, she is exclusively in Steinmart, so this is where you can find her particular bedding. But And I know you guys are like, good grief, how many pillows on the bed? I love pillows. I've told you all that once before. I know it's a lot, but the only thing that we do at night is we just remove them and, you know, put them to the side and you got your bed back. I like the way it looks. It makes my bed look, look luxe and luxurious and rich. And I really like that look. So, yeah. So, I also have um, a little bit of Thanksgiving going on here as well. I have a thankful pillow and then I have a grateful throw. This was found at Burke's Outlet. I'm not sure if you all have that in your city, but we have it in our local city. And then this was found at Marshall's. This throw was found there, and it's a really good quality. The benches in front of the bed was also part of this whole bedroom set group. I found it at Home Goods. The thing about these, um, it's an interesting story. I have a vanity that also matches this bedroom set that's in my closet, but this particular bench was made for the vanity and so what ended up happening is somebody bought the vanity for uh, they had two vanities i believe and somebody bought the vanity and didn't want the bench so i went back and i saw that the bench was left so i just grabbed the second bench and just put you know both of them in front of my bed 
So that's the story behind that. This painting on the back of the wall was recently picked up at Home Goods, I think for $99. The mirrors were also picked up at Home Goods recently, and I want to say those were maybe, I think, yeah, $79 a piece. Lamp, Home Goods, frame with the picture in it back here is from Home Goods. Home Goods, these coffee table books were found at Burlington. This was found at Home Goods. Pretty much everything here was found at Home Goods as far as furniture wise, I believe, except these chairs. We'll step right on. Oh, let's talk about this. So, this particular area is our sitting room area, and I wanted to kind of define the space a little bit. It was already defined by the way the builder cut it out, but I wanted to add a little bit more glitz and glam. So, what I decided to do was add these little curtain rod balls here. And if you can see, they got a little bling to them as well. But then I hung some curtains and kind of just gave it a little bit of a glam feel, you know, to this side of the space. So it's something that a lot of people find interesting. They think a lot of people ask, do you close those? I'm like, not really, but I can, you know, because they're curtains, but I never close them. Then I have a vase here that's filled with some extra rods that's also blingy as well. So that vase was picked up from Home Goods. We'll step right on over here. And this vase was made by a friend of my mom's. She made it for me as a housewarming gift. I really love it. She has some original um, stemware in here and I took it out and put some hydrangeas in here as well to kind of give it a more fuller look. And then I have a little uh, charger that is sitting on, a little green charger with a little side table as well, mirror table. We are going to go to the wall and check out the, the paintings. So before I had some pictures of my husband and I, wedding photos and it was just not matching the scale of the room so i went with these and these were found at kirkland's probably about two months ago on clearance you may can still find them but they were fairly cheap i think i ended up getting each one for forty dollars and it has a little bit of the glittering you know hints of bling inside the picture as well this here bar was found at front gate i purchased it on clearance as well and I decided to kind of use it as a little place where I store my books and then you know a little drink station as well so I just have some little Vazi waters here and some little stemware I also picked up from front gate just in case because a lot of times when my girlfriends come over they migrate to my closet and we'll talk about that later because that's a whole nother video we'll talk about so I got some stemware up here for us and then for my husband and I in case we want to use it but also have a little fall going on over here with a little pumpkin that I picked up from Ross, I believe, last year. And then, again, just some little books down here that I picked up from Burlington as well. This dresser is also a part of the collection that I found at Home Goods. So this is like the side where we kind of store the TV box. My wedding photo album, I think, is under here. And then this whole section is kind of dedicated to my husband and I photos, like different pictures of our wedding, different pictures that we took while we were dating, different pictures we have while on vacation. Then some cards for my children and just little blingy stuff as well. This is my wedding invitation here. And I wanted to keep one of them because I was just like, I just need to keep that as a keepsake. So I framed it and put it into a mirror frame that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. Again, if a lot of you are familiar with my videos, these candle holders, I've explained to you and told you about these. So those are um, still some of the part of the collection that I picked up from that store that day I told you about. These here were found at Tuesday morning at either Home Goods. These little bling diamond um, holders. So I decided to pop them there with a the little theme. Then I have a little uh, glass... I don't know what you call this, but my mom's friend had this made for me. And it has a man and a woman like on their wedding day in here with the heart and I love you. That um, was a gift to me that's sitting there as well. Then I have an animated picture back here of my husband and I. We went to Manhattan a few years back that a uh, cartoonist drew for us. Then I also have some little blinged out candle holders that I also picked up from Michael's. And then I have candles, and then I added some little jewelry to the candle. And again, I have a little book back here with my wedding photos in there. So this side just really consists of wedding and pictures of my husband and I in this area. We'll switch right over here. I have a pretty much a stand-up mirror, just so sometimes if I want to try on a pair of new shoes I get or just check myself out, 
I got a whole tall mirror that I can do that with. And this was also purchased at Home Goods a few years back. So let's talk about the chairs. The chairs were purchased at a local furniture store here. And you all may have this as well, but it was purchased at Value City. And I decided to do the kind of laid back chairs, one for my husband, one for myself, of course, but we just wanted something where we can sit and lounge if we don't want to be in the bed watching television. And I thought this was perfect. It has the little hints of bling in the chair, the little, the little bling buttons inside. So I thought it was real nice and practical as well because it's faux leather. So it also, you know, is something if we sit in here with some food or anything, we won't have to worry about getting anything too, you know, messed up because it can be wiped off. So what else we need to talk about? Um, oh, the chandelier. The chandelier was purchased at a consignment store. The lady um, who I normally deal with, who does a lot of my chandeliers as far as painting them, she showed it to me in the, it was in a gold finish. And she was like, I can give it to you for $35 with all the crystals on it and I'll paint it. And I was like, what? So she painted it silver for me and I loved it. I think I'm going to change it soon though because I'm going to do a uh, chandelier because sometimes our room gets really warm even though our room has its own temperature control sometimes it still gets warm so I think I'm going to change it to a chandelier soon but I've enjoyed it and I love it and it kind of adds a little sparkle in the room. This here is also uh, a part of the same collection that came from my bed and by the way all of the furniture I said came from home goods. I really gotta tell you guys the name of this furniture because it's really good furniture. This bedroom set when I first pur purchased it from home goods. I went online and it was literally a $10,000 bedroom set and I got the whole set for probably $1,000. So you talk about a steal, that was insane to me. But I'll give the name of this because I want to say I've still been able to find, see it, I've seen it online. So over here, we pretty much have um, everything Chanel. My bedroom is kind of like themed after Chanel. Um, I'm still working on trying to find like a car for the set. I've seen a lot of them online, but they kind of look cheaply made. So I'm still like researching and trying to find a white Chanel comforter set with the CC circles in the middle. So if any of my YouTube followers or subscribers or anybody who view my video, if you know where I can purchase from, please let me know. I would love to have that info. But again, it's a Chanel um, theme going on here. So I have Chanel books all over the place. And then I have some little perfume holders, kind of like use, standing as bookends. I have these little vases. Um, I have these in a set of two, one big, one small, as you can see. But these were purchased at Home Goods a few years ago. They repeat these every year at Christmas time, if anybody is interested. So this is the time to check Home Goods for them because I see them every year at Christmas. But of course, all my fragrance. Then I have some perfume bottles here, just the clear ones to kind of, you know, give some more bling and glitz and glam to the room along with all my Chanel stuff. And then these here were also purchased at Home Goods as well. And again, they repeat these as well. The mirror on the wall was also purchased at Home Goods. So I haven't I haven't seen this repeated, but they do similar styles all the time at Home Goods. Uh we'll step over here because we didn't get to do this. This here um was also purchased at Home Goods. As you can see, I have one over there on the other side as well. Then another Chanel book, a little um perfume um fragrance diffuser here. Another photo of my husband and I in a frame that I picked up from Home Goods lamp from home goods mirror i told you from home goods this little mirror l here i purchased from burlington recently and then this box it sits on was from home goods and my end tables and nightstands are also from home goods i have um the curtains here with the bling like clear curtain rod as well that was also purchased at home goods and you guys check out my view this is the view i wake up to every morning isn't that cool so I know, I know a lot of you all know I live on a lake, but just to wake up to that view has been a blessing. So that's the view. But we'll swing back on around here and check out my fireplace. I wanted a fireplace in here. I went at Home Depot and they had one that you could put on the wall. My husband and I just recently discovered that we can um, do a built-in fireplace and add this in and kind of, you know, make it look more custom, shall I say. And again, I just have my husband and I initials up on the wall with the mirror um, theme as well. So, we'll swing right over here. Over here is my jewelry station. I also have a mirror clock I picked up from Home Goods. 
Then I just have a lot of my jewelry here sitting on top for a little decoration, a little bling jewelry with some little perfume candle holders, a little notepad, also some little mirror candle holders, uh, a little piece of crystal that I uh, picked up from Pier 1, I believe. And then I have these tall, like, little... Oh gosh, I don't know what you ever call these. I got to figure out what this is. I shouldn't know this. That's pretty bad. But I also picked these up from Home Goods. And I want to talk about the jewelry um, stand itself, on war itself. I picked this up on clearance, you guys. I stalked it at Sternmar. It was $300 originally. And I stalked it until it went all the way down to 75 or either 80%. And I ended up getting it for $47. So it was like Christmas that day. But... As you can see, it has a little dressers. Then you can open it. I haven't filled the side yet. And you have a lot of places where... Why is my doggy child in my video? Um, you can store stuff as well. So, yeah, this was a great bargain. And I store shades in here. Not just jewelry, but my husband's watches. My watches and my jewelry. This side opens up as well. Where I have some of my necklaces hanging as well. I need to get everything hung up in there. But this was a great buy. So, I'm pretty happy about that. So, yeah, this is my bedroom. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I didn't want to make it too long, but if you have any questions, of course, you can ask me, and I'll be glad to answer if you feel like I left something out. Oh, let's talk about the rug. The rug was recently purchased at Home Goods as well. I'm not sure if it shows up on camera, beige, but we bought it like this. It wasn't actually a pure white, white rug, but it's actually super soft. We purchased it on clearance. My husband and I kind of stalked this rug as well. We like to catch a bargain. So I want to say it was listed at maybe $200. And when we decided to get it, I went back and I thought it was sold. And it turns out two days later, I went back again and it wasn't sold. It was just marked down on clearance. So we ended up getting it for like $120. And it's so soft. I wanted to kind of give the illusion that my bed is on the cloud. I wanted one much larger to go all the way back to the headboard of the bed, but you know, this one is okay, I guess, until I can really find one that does that. But for now, I love it. It's super comfy and cozy, so. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys had a great weekend. Thank you all to all of my new subscribers. I'm so glad you're here. Please, please, please hit the notification button and make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at jdlees underscore home designs. I will so appreciate it. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for being a part of my YouTube world. I am super, super happy to have you all here. I'm so grateful for all the kind comments I get on a daily basis, all the support I get from you all. I really appreciate that. So I want you all to know I'm so grateful for you all. Stay tuned. I want to make this channel into something that you guys can be happy and excited to get the notification bell whenever you hear it. So just keep following this journey with me and let's grow together. And if you have any tips or comments, Please let me know. Please keep it positive. I know it's some people that want to be negative. I, I am a person that's all about a positive light. So keep it positive. I'm all, you know, for positive feedback or whatever the case may be. I don't really like to get feedback telling me what to do, what somebody else do. Because I like to be creative and do my own stuff. But I'm open to suggestions. So if you all want to, you know, do that, that's fine. But again, thank you so much for the support. And I love you guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.